All right, I missed the uh, earlier kitchen segment with Kaplinger's Fresh Seafood. Uh, so I jumped in line and I got the plate of the Aura King How's salmon. How does he get a plate? I don't know. That was going to be my plate. How does he get a plate? grab it before crazy. I even got up here. It's, it's, it's not done yet. Seconds. So yeah. uh, you guys can wait and get the one that's done done. Yeah. Yeah. you got to make our <laughs> sauce, too. Is it? So. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you can oh, yeah, definitely take sauce. a taste. I think you'll be pretty pleased. Because you, And this is interesting because this salmon, you know, I... Or a king. It, it's yes. farm raised, but it's farm raised in New Zealand. You Correct. Got your yes. Forks ready to go. You can. That's got the skin on the bottom side there, and it's crispy. So you may want to just pull a little bit of the meat right off the skin. I like the skin though. Oh, I love it too. So, all right, yeah, so. all right as you yeah, 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 you're starting we'll the sauce. We're gonna be here all day. Yes. <laughs> So you have garlic? I've got garlic, and I put a little bit of uh, butter. We've butter. got a couple table, tablespoons of butter yeah. um, and yeah. some cream cheese. The cream cheese sort of helps to thicken it. Yeah. Yep, we've got our onion, and i got a uh, tri-pepper blend here. We're going to just add all these things in here. Typically, we would let these sweat out for a couple minutes and add our andouille sausage, mm, but right, right I want to make sure we can plate some up for everybody here. Nice. So we're going to get these one. cooking and basically we're going to just keep stirring this and let it sweat down, cook for just at least a couple minutes here. Usually it'd probably be about four or five minutes, mm -hmm. but now, uh, now Andrew, is this going to yes, go sir. with the salmon? It's going to go over top of the salmon, oh, and it is going to, yeah. Right now. We've had it before this gets added. Mm -hmm. You don't oh. even need it. No, you don't need it. You know. <laughs> no. That is some yeah. of the best salmon I've had. I took one oh, bite. Oh, Randy. Awesome. So is this yeah. one Thank the you. same? Yeah. Is that one? Is this yeah. one the same as that's that the one? That's the same, yeah. No, no, You're, that's a little different, Amber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Andrew, tell them what you told me about this Aura King salmon before the show sure. began. Yeah, Aura King is, uh, in my opinion, it is at the top of the wow. top of the list when it comes to salmon. Um, it's raised in New Zealand. They raise it just like it's a wild product. Mm -hmm. um, the care that they take in it, uh, you know, from starting as a fry, uh, they have. It's a it's a odd name. I think it's Wai Pupu Springs. That doesn't sound great, but that's where it starts. And this water that they start in is fresh water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's cleaner than what a majority of the world has to drink. Um, and it's just amazing and stuff. I, and I can get this at Kaplinger. You can get yeah. it there. Yep. This tastes like butter in your mouth. <laughs> butter. Melts butter. Like butter. Hey, no in ER. Your mouth. <laughs> butter. That is good. Yeah, like it is. That. It's fantastic stuff. Now we're adding in, this is uh, our crawfish here. This is uh, Louisiana crawfish. Ooh, a nah, lot nah. of. Oh, <laughs> no. A lot of times, if you go, if you look at your labels, there's a lot of imported crawfish. This is not. This is a domestic crawfish. It makes a huge difference in yeah. uh, the overall flavor, <clears throat> texture. I mean, there's nothing that it's not that it's not better than the well, imported stuff. When it comes to Kaplinger, set the scene for me because we, my family and I, go in there often. We love. Yes going there shopping Thank there but you. also eating there because I know some of them have like a restaurant portion. What separates you guys and your product from the other guys? Well, it's it's all about the quality, yeah. like you said, and I know that's yeah, sort of it makes generic, a big but difference, though. it makes a huge difference. And we buy based off of quality, not price. Mm. Okay. When you're buying seafood, it's one of those things that you get what you pay for. Yeah. Now there's plenty of stuff. It might taste. It's going to taste fine. It can be fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the way things are cared for, uh, just all of those different kinds of uh, things that you can do for the fish yeah. while it's being raised, right. it, it makes an, a lot better product. I mean, yeah. you guys taste the mm -hmm. yeah. the difference oh. on this orchid. Oh, yes. oh. um, we bounce for that. <laughs> Speaking of which. Um, you and I were, have been talking historically about supply chain issues. Yes, you sir. You started your own catfish farm. <laughs> yeah. No. Tell, tell us about That's that. That's cool. That is crazy. You're right, Randall. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it was one of those deals where we had uh, a lot of problems being able to get uh, catfish, period. Mm -hmm. we, we were. We didn't have any breaks and uh, service on it, but the price almost doubled over the last two Ooh, years. Wow. So... 
we went from having a product, and we sell six to 800 pounds of the catfish a week out of our stores. So that is a huge, huge problem. Yeah. Well, my mom and uh, stepdad, they live in Tazewell, Indiana, which is Crawford County. Patoka Lake is down there. Mm -hmm. A lot of cool well, things to do in Crawford County. But um, this road that we drive down every day to go see, whenever we'd go down to see them, little did I know, it used to be a fishery. I saw all these for sale signs pop up, and I, I love being out in the woods and, and fishing, hunting, all that stuff. So I ended up uh, just looking at an aerial view just for fun. I knew nothing was going to come of it, and I see all these ponds. And then, you know, I start thinking, hey, you know, this could solve an issue. Price was right. We were dumb enough to think that we could do this. Uh, <laughs> so we're doing it. That's and awesome. I've got catfish. We put catfish in the pond in April. They're growing. Uh, we haven't killed any. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's going good. Yeah. So, so I think we're running out of time. I think maybe we yes. should serve, plate this up a little bit oh, and just see the deliciousness that. about it. Cream sauce. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> this is a delicious cream Excuse sauce. Me? This looks amazing. Pile it on, Andrew. Pile and it on. all the goodness that you have in there as well. I mean, Andrew Kaplinger. Kaplinger's Fresh Catch. Man, this has been... You're just showing off at pleasure. this point, Andrew. You're just showing off. <laughs>